Right now, they are the best in their age group nationwide. Take a look at these amazing shots by brothers Sid and Nandan. Sid is 12, Nandan is 10, and they are table tennis champs who have a real shot at playing professionally. We are the table tennis family. That's all we do, eat, sleep, and play table tennis. Sid was the number one, he got a cadet champion last time in Florida and Nandan got a mini cadet champion in Florida as well. So in their age group, they're right now the best. I'm on the cadet national team, which is for 15 and under boys. I am currently ranked number two for my age group and I'm on the mini cadet national team, which is 13 and under. Ping pong is kind of a hobby, it's more of a basement sport. While table tennis is the actual Olympic sport, I like to always say like ping pong to table tennis is like mini golf to golf. Most people think it's just a hobby, something you do for fun, but it's actually a little more. You need a lot of hand-eye coordination and you need to be able to focus, have fast reflexes, and be able to create spin and power at the same time on the ball. Currently, I'm better than what he was when he was my age. Yeah, but in five years, I'll definitely be better than you because I have more discipline than you and you're kind of lazy. Of the two boys, I think Sid is the more disciplined. He'd wake up in the morning, go down to the basement, do serve practice where he practices serves for uh, half an hour. Then they're off to school. Three o'clock, they do homework, and then we jump in the car, come to the club, and then they have their lessons. Keep your body tight, and when you make a contact. And their coach gives them homework every day. Your body is loose, Nanda. After the lessons, they gotta come back home, and you know, it's, it's physical training that they need to uh, work on. Uh, it's pretty tight, but you know, they're boys and they're young. In the air, finish them in the air before you land your feet. Finish your motion in the air. Our coach, uh, his personality is pretty tough, but he's, he's really beneficial to us because the state in China, it's like it's so intense and that's why they're, they're so dominant. Opera, not form. And he kind of brings that same attitude and same toughness to this. He knows what he's doing and it's, it's, all, it's all for the good of for us, so he's been helping us a lot. That's better. Finish your form. The first step is to reach to the top in this country first. So eventually our final goal will be to compete internationally in Olympics. U.S. is very, very strong internationally, but it's growing. Table tennis is growing in this country really fast in the last decade. In terms of just a league in the U.S., it really doesn't exist. So in Europe, in some countries in Asia, not only can you play at a very high level, but you also get paid. Table tennis isn't like other sports where you can actually sustain a decent livelihood. Playing as a professional player without a league in the U.S., I would need to be playing in some other countries like Germany and China. I just played uh, Nandan Naresh, one of my students, and I won 3-1. Technically, it's not really fair for kids to play against adults because the physical ability is on a different level. But in U.S., we don't have enough players here. When Sid is down doing his surf practice, Nandan is still in bed under the sheets, waiting to be woken up. He's working hard. I can see that he's really like putting in a lot of effort to stay at the top. And also his brother is catching up to him, so I think that's... <laughs> but it's funny thing about Nandan is that he likes to experiment a lot. A lot of times he'll want to like stay late and try out his tricks and try out his new serves. So he's different in a way, you know. He doesn't wake up at six o'clock in the morning, but uh, then he, he does this other stuff. And the other thing I saw with Nandan was, even from a young age, he was very headstrong. You know, whatever he put his mind to, he would just go after it. I had stomach surgery when I was two days old because there was a block in my intestine. Table tennis at that point wasn't even on our radar. And then he came out, came out strong. So it's, it's, it's been a tremendous journey from the NICU to actually being a hopeful for the Olympics. We've been involved with this group called Jackson Chance. 
and they support uh, babies in the NICU. They have something called a ping pong ball and they raise money for their cause. We go and we play table tennis there just for fun. They hold a tournament and the winner of that will play us and they also hold a silent auction. He was a kid who pretty much just fought for his life when he was born and then being able to go back and help the NICU and help this great cause, it's, it means a lot to us. One of my first ones was in the 2016 Illinois State Championship. I won the Youth 10 and Under Champion. So I think this is one of my uh, oldest tour, uh, table tennis slurpees. It was in the 2012, it's in 2012. And yeah, I came second place in the U1100 event. So in the beginning, when we were playing like uh, lower events with uh, when we were in this good, we would usually get medals and trophies. But now that we've stepped up to a national level, we've been getting money in cash and checks. Now that their names are getting out there in the community, um, I guess the pressure is going to build for them. From Chicago, Illinois, please welcome Sid and Nandan. How old are you? I'm 12 years old and I'm 10. You're 10. We 10. sent in an audition tape to Little Big Shots on YouTube and they chose us, and then Alan chose us off a of little big shot. Yeah, a lot of people in school, when they saw it, they were like, oh wow, that's amazing, how did you do that? And like, they, they were able to see the talents that we have. It was a lot of fun. Both boys are naturally gifted. They can pick up any sport and do pretty well. And luckily for them, they both have found their passion in table tennis. And just playing anything at a national level, it gives you some kind of like a sense of accomplishment. If you enjoy it as much as us, it's pleasant. It's not something that we're obliged to do. It's something that we want to do and it's something that we choose to do.